This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Oluwa Oshunke and Ife Omai. Hi. Yeah, what's good? How are you doing? Bless, wow. bless, bless you. Um, I don't know. Thank yeah. God it's yeah. Friday. Right? Hey, hey. You're not happy again. I was excited before. So what, what changed? <laughs> work. <laughs> decided to spoil my plans. So you have to be at work tomorrow? Oh yeah, mm. well, uh, well, let's hear. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's not well. Uh, yes, we'll all be at work <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> we will, yes, we will be at work. Very, yes, work. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah, but I think it's another lamentation from Waji. She's um, talking about the exorbitant price of um, food stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's actually crazy. It is. It is. I've not been eating much. I can't relate. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've not been eating much. I can't relate because mm. I really don't buy a lot of stuff. And when I need stuff, my girlfriend gets for me. So. Do you have money? No, like yeah, I so give. So the I, money you are giving. I don't know how increased. much. I don't know how much it costs. I just know I get stuff. I just give her X amount, and she gives me. The X amount you give her has not increased. It's still the same. Mm -mm, as still the same amount. She's very she's prudent. So cool. Yeah, she's she's a wife material. I've seen her picture. It's mm. like she's not what you. Mm. Hopefully that's the picture. Hopefully, mm. but yeah. She's not but you saw the message. You saw you saw the message. I didn't say any message. I was in pictures. So. Yeah, but you saw the message of what you requested. The regular if girl will please, request let's that. Talk about what about uh, hey. uh, what's what Jay is talking about? For those that can relate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've noticed. I've noticed that the prices have gone up. I think it was more with the quantity than necessarily like the price. So let's say if you want to buy like tomatoes, whatever you want to make pepe. Let's say 5k would get you like a pint or whatever, mm. and now the 5k isn't getting a pint anymore. There's like it's not, like it's filling the pint up to like a quarter. Mm. That's kind of like how I noticed that. Um, I think tomatoes, it has a season, and I don't think now is this. It's, what I know it's, that yeah, it's going up is now, potato. Regardless of um, COVID-19 or no, there's mm, usually that time of the year that tomatoes get really expensive. Well, it, it blended with COVID-19 yeah. period because it started doing that during the COVID-19 okay. period. It's not just that, it's a lot of other things as well. Even, I mean, I think everything has gone high, even with um, fuel, with um, furniture, with like, w I don't know, because I've been trying to do a lot of stuff with my apartment and everything. So I've noticed that prices are getting higher. Even someone would tell me, oh, okay, this is this is this amount is gonna be enough and then they get to market say, ah, this sheet that used to be forty K is now forty one five or something like that. So there's been an increase in everything, which makes I mean it's not that rocket science to figure out why that is. We're not yeah. getting as much um, into the system anymore. Mm. Like trade trade is not um, as transportation is also increased. Yeah, so the like getting stuff in and things like that is a lot harder. So mm. I guess scarcity of commodity makes demand higher, which makes prices higher. I don't know. But please, can you reduce the price of sweet potato, please? That's mm. one. Mm, that's sweet potato, please. Only sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on to the next story. Nigerian rapper Vector has dedicated um, a tweet to enlighten cultists on their role in the society. He said, quote, if you, if you, if you be cultist and your orientation not to kill another man just because he be cultist, then you are a fool. You pledged yourself to fighting against corrupt, corrupt men who have influenced authority to their will. I repeat, if your motive, okay, this pigeon is difficult, though, but basically, if your motive is um, killing or attacking like you, people and all, uh, so basically, saying that's not cut, what cutism is about. Like, cutism is about fighting it's quite for stupid, the, isn't it? Very like, stupid, like very because stupid. you're encouraging cultism. I yeah. don't even know how you know their pledge if well, you're not a cultist you. I don't think he's being stupid because we've had people actually come to talk about, or I mean, I've had conversations with people where they try to explain um, where cultism really started. Well, Shay Inka started, is one of the founders of the Pirates. Yeah, so why they started, what they started, and how it has been hijacked by people who just wants to be miscreants in the society and all. So uh, mm. I get where he's coming from. And like you said, for him to come out to be saying this, it's, possi it's possible he's part of them and understands um, the, the pledge and understands that there are people, there are elements in their midst that is just trying to paint Okay, the, I, I mean, the, I knew well. that, that that angle was going to come up in conversation. But mm -hmm. for me, I still think like it's highly stupid, not because it's encouraging it, but because there is very tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of people on Twitter that have that um, idea in mind. When you talk about cultism in Nigeria as 
like bare minimum mm -hmm. as Highly in like on the streets yeah. it is about violence so mm -hmm. when you talk like that you have to add extra words to say i mean this type of courtesy i mean this type of courtesy but to come out acting naive that you don't know the you don't know what the reality is like put it in context the people that you're talking to i went and saw the trade now it was the same vibe nobody saying oh yeah went straight it's not that it's you know street stuff is a yeah it's um blue and red and i don't know there Yellow. Yellow. And what's, yeah. and what's the basis so of what, this tweet? What, what are you, are you yeah. having a, a beef with a rival gang or something? Because I don't understand where this tweet came from. So are you from. saying that Vector... <laughs> that Vector is a... Vector cannot... So yeah. this is hypothetically speaking. Now, we don't know if he's a courtist. Mm. So let's say if he's a courtist, he cannot put in effort to try to sanitize the movement when and maybe take it back cult, to it what it used to be. Are you saying he doesn't have that right? Ah, if it just when he was, nailed when it on got the head, was it sanitized? That is, he in went own, in like, for the dirty you, game. Mm -hmm. How do you know he went in for the dirty because game? Because that has never been sanitized. It has never it has been from day one. From his day one. How do you know? How, is, how old is Victor? How, old is he? how do you know? Wait, hold on. This is where I'm coming from. Because even at the fact that this is happening now, I'm sorry, I know people that are in some frats. Maybe not in this country okay. that are actually, in fact, if they're in trouble or if they want to get a job or they want to get a connection, the fact that they're part of that group mm. is already an edge for them. It's just for them to pick up a phone and mm. speak to this person. And you don't see them gathering yes, at midnight they're, they're, they're or elite, doing anything to kill they're, anybody. They're elite you know, so you cannot take away the the good side of the fraternity. And it's possible that Vector for himself, if he is part of a fraternity or a cult or whatever they like to call it. You cannot say he got into that place because he was told if you get there, uh, you kill people. I mean, not everybody of got course. into that because but of that But he's clearly mindset. having a killing problem. So it's not like a if no... That is what I'm saying. You cannot bash him for trying to speak up, to try to sanitize that well, movement. Well, maybe That's I would I'm understand saying. this The way tweet. he spoke up and what he said with his words maybe. don't don't really match maybe with that I vibe. This vibe this. is very different from what I got on that table, saying that, hey, you are... Mm, 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 mm. Maybe I understand this tweet if he has, like, a background story to share mm -hmm. about it. Like, he should okay, say more. Yeah, he should you should tell us more, but this out of the blue is like, oh, I'm a cultist. I'm having beef with these people. They want to kill me. I want to kill them. And eh, I'm thinking, don't no, kill them. Do if you're killing kill people, then you're a fool. Like, you're getting, getting it wrong. Think, yeah. You're getting it wrong. Yeah, you're, you're missing the point. Like, what is the point? Who are you talking to? Okay. Language so is power. Like, say no to cultism, they, they need please. you to explain better and tell them about your cults. <laughs> if you are part of a cult, I guess and that what would, they stand for. And what they stand mm -hmm. for. I guess that would serve the case, yeah. right? Definitely. Hmm. The time will continue right after this short break. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> oh, yeah. and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like. This is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. Councillor Lutherot must be arrested and used as a scapegoat. And this is coming from Julius Ibrahim. She's calling for arrest, uh, for his arrest for fueling rape culture and sexual violence. Mm. Basically, he said rape victims sometimes enjoy the act. Mm. They should be arrested for real. Mm -hmm. They should be. And um, this just shows that he has some type of experience or he knows mm. somebody... <laughs> yeah. No, no, um, the is even. Uh, or, or you know somebody it's who's done this actually. and has confided in him to say that, oh, at some point while I was raping her, she began to enjoy it. So if you know this thing, you need to expose that person or expose yourself. So he mm. needs to be arrested, questioned, because this is like the most stupid thing I've heard anyone say. Now, I feel like even if you have the 
slightest idea that the rape victim is enjoying it, wh why wouldn't you think that, okay, maybe it's because she's just trying to protect herself. She's tired of being beaten. She's tired of being forced. She's tired of being, and she just has to fake it so that you can leave her alone. What about the psychological trauma you're going to leave this person with for the rest of her life? Have you thought about that? So which person wants to be taken against their own will? Mm. It's just that simple. If you have that type of sense, if you can even think that alone, then you will not open your mouth to say this. So obviously, he doesn't think. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. I, I have a counselor that doesn't think. Mm -hmm. And there are people that go to him for counseling. I pity them because they don't think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm almost very certain that it isn't that the victim gave them an inclination that they were enjoying it. I think they just assumed that, that they were enjoying it. Um, or maybe they watched a the movie. Maybe. Because I've mm. seen this play out in a movie. In a Nollywood movie, actually, that the lady was raped and she was like, oh, this guy was the sweetest uh, since uh, the husband doesn't do it the way he did it. I mean, that's a movie, actually. So. <laughs> it's oh, very God, sick. I mean, I, mm, what I know is usually you get to fight or whatever and then you let go, like mm. it's happening. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen... Mm. Um, 13 Reasons Why. It was a very good example of, mm -hmm. of that. I don't want to use any human person. Mm -hmm. So 13 Reasons Why is a good example. You're like, you're not going to fight for how many other minutes? And you're there to let it happen because you don't have a choice. you can't wait till it's over. If that person then interprets that as, as enjoying, that's on you. I have never seen, and I know quite a lot of people because I've, as you know, rape and violence is something that I've, you know, I'm interested in trying to help people and all that type of stuff. There's too many people that I know that I, I don't know anyone that has said, oh, it was actually really nice because you're forgetting that it's, sex is beautiful. Sex is nice. But the way it was done is what's not nice. Mm. So it's not that mm. it, it, it's kind of like twisted that you don't think like that. It, I don't know if you remember when you were younger and then they say you have to eat this food. I didn't like eating, so I understand that when we are eating the food, it's not like I said, no, the food is bitter. The fact that I'm being forced to eat the food is what I'm concentrating on rather than the pleasure derived from the food itself. The food. So if you are that sick of a person to interpret the person's vulnerability and helplessness as them enjoying it, it just even, um, I guess, even reiterates the fact that you are actually very sick. And that's a a strong word from a rapist. I would be very surprised, very, very surprised if this person has never raped someone, even if it's statutory rape. So he's uh, not constantly raping oh, someone. They, like, I'll be um, very surprised. But from what this conversation and this mindset just brings me, I'm sorry I'm taking it all the way over to the boy child mm. or the man when the conversation of the possibility of them being raped come up. And... You hear a guy saying, ah, but you enjoyed it. Mm. But there's also a part that says, so if you did not enjoy it, I mean, for a woman, it's going in. So a man, how exactly did he get an erection mm. to be raped? And that conversation was so stupid. deep at some point where they start analyzing how a man can have an erection without really really being conscious. Yes. You know? A man so, wakes up with an erection. You know, exactly. So that, that conversation is kind of deep and weird. And especially when you tilt it to the boy child as well, or for the men as well. So... Like you said, I don't know why anyone would think this way, but um, the counsellor needs a counsellor mm. right now. And some have even come out to say he's a fake counsellor, that mm. said Vision Station should not be giving him platform, Anytime. because mm. this is not the first time mm. he's gone on air to say things say very, stupid very thing. ridiculous. And uh, television stations in Ghana still give him the audience to spread these things. And maybe they think it's Cloud they want to go yeah. viral or it's an interesting conversation. Because it goes viral a lot. Does go, I mean, he's is, is that what he media time. is about in Ghana? I mean, it does doesn't make sense to me because mm. if you are saying something that is morally wrong, legally wrong, mm. so why exactly are you giving this person a platform? It, it, actually. it doesn't make sense. So I think they need to also watch what they push out there and how they give going, these people going platform. Going to Julius Ibrahim's request, I mm -hmm. think I, I don't think that, that he will be arrested necessarily because mm -hmm. um, I don't think he's committed a crime. He should be yet. investigated. Yes, but I think we need to start doing things like that where we really make people scapegoats to do that. So if it's like, if you're going to be forced. Nigeria, would be arrested with the new law that if you support rape or yeah. yes, yes. Well, that law is gangster. It is gangster. That law. <laughs> it, I, I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, I mean even if it's that like you do a forceful um, psychiatric revaluation mm -hmm. or that you taint, that you have to go to this place for do something to make people uncomfortable. Mm. I know. And if you just send me nude without me soliciting for it, how mm -hmm. many years in prison? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm loving that law. Uh, that one, a lot of people <laughs> will go to, especially ladies.
Ladies. Ladies. Mm. Hmm. Well, hmm. okay, maybe I would... maybe I, I'm saying that because... You get a lot of nudes. No, I'm not saying that one. I'm just saying uh, because that's... I know men get, get a lot, a lot of, of nudes. Like, so you don't get... Sometimes you just call, you just... <laughs> wait, relax. <laughs> sometimes you just make a video call and a lady is naked and I'm uh, Were you not the one that made the, the video, video call? call. Yeah, you made a video so. call, but uh -huh. I wanted to speak did you, to you. Did you Why didn't you wear did your you, clothes you know, That's another thing. A lot of people call people on video call. I know there are people you are in a certain kind of relationship <clears> with that you can just pick up your phone and call them on video call <clears> anytime. And it means that if you, are that if you are in that kind of relationship, it means that you can see yeah. the person naked. So so if you're going to call someone and you did not first of all say hi, can Where I call clothes? you? There are some that I will even do. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Something. Should I call you back? My God. Let's see that. Okay. Um. So let's move on quickly to Kanye West, who is being slammed by Sharon Osbourne, um, for taking multi-million dollar stimulus from um the government. The music manager is mad at Kanye West, and um, of course she made that known at the TV show where at the TV show where she um was at. And um, from what the information is, Kanye's Yeezy company was approved for a loan of between two million and five million dollars from the government during the health crisis. She said, and I quote, I just think that when you have that sort of cash, it is embarrassing to ask when you have it yourself. You have it, you have more than enough to keep 100 people going. So why ask the government or take from the government, end of quote. She also suggested Kanye West should return the money. Hmm. Mm. Why would Kanye take $2 million though from and you don't, are you taking money from the government to donate it's to the Black company. Lives Matter? No, it's he's company. not. It's his company. It yeah, it. but well, you can let's afford not forget it. that his exactly. company is employing people and it's But a he business. can afford it. He can afford what he's he a billionaire. His wife is a billionaire. Well, based on uh, at least experience, you know that because you're a billionaire his wife's by sister status is a doesn't mean that you have billions in your account. Billions in your account. It's I, assets. Okay, the argument for this topic really busted my head. three people in my relationship that are billionaires will never take loans. It's really not that simple, but... Mm. A lot of billionaires are don't actually... Have, yeah. not, not even don't have. They are servicing loans. Yeah. Mm. That's one thing a lot of people need to know. See all these people that are yeah, shouting? Yeah, really I don't have mention them, but they come like from that, me. That they can they all have loans. When I'm talking of loans, they are in billions that they are servicing. This conversation for me is mm -hmm. I pull, I'm pulled between if he's just a really greedy person that is quite insensitive and if he just actually needed it in the... Or well, the company actually needed it. The company let's, let's actually it needed yeah. it. And if the company actually needed it, mm -hmm. it's still hard not to go back to him being really insensitive and whatever. Because as, as, much, as, as, much, as, as much as I don't want to make it as simple that you're a billionaire, so you always have liquid assets, mm -hmm. I still have to tilt towards Ife's point of saying that... Are you saying that you didn't really have anyone else that you could get that money from, from a family like that? Because these people churn out Mm -hmm. um, liquid cash for nonsensical things because two to five million dollars honestly it's not that much yeah. especially for the Kanye West family mm -hmm. and, and that's always I, donating exactly so that's why I'm wondering mm -hmm. except the whole family is into showbiz and it's all audio then it's a bit insensitive for and you. Another thing is, are you granting essential services at that point in time? Mm. Clothing is not really the most essential no, thing for you to go and take and a loan for is not even with your making, fashion designer. Um, they have mask. to pay salary. Yeah. Okay, we need to go. I, um, I, I don't know. Uh, I wish I had more Slash 25% at least. Oh, yeah, salary. <laughs> That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always go to my interesting go and cause Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshukeye yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. <laughs> my name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.